Hey everybody, Pastor Brad here once again. So, how are you doing? How are you dealing with this disequilibrium that we talked about this last weekend? Some things just don't seem right, do they? I want to bless you and encourage you with something. I read this just this morning from Psalm 46. It says, God is our refuge and strength, always ready, always ready to help us in times of trouble and disequilibrium, I would say. So rest in him, enjoy him, watch what he does in our lives through this. As challenging as it is, that's a great promise. So it's, it's interesting to watch the discussion nationally and in our state shift a little ways uh, away from just containment, though we're still very much right in the heart of that, to reopening our economy and uh, maybe getting back to regathering and that kind of thing. So I want you to know that our elders met last evening and we're beginning that discussion as well. We're thinking about uh, our president's directive, how to phase this in, and uh, we'll no doubt hear from our governor shortly. Uh, but also there's the medical community that have their view and their suggestion how to do this safely and effectively. And so we're taking all of those opinions, but we want you to know that we don't have a specific time frame for how we regather and what the process for that is. Our priority is the health of our church family and our community, and that's going to be kind of the guiding principle for us. We'll gather the other information, listen to the experts, but in the end, we want to be confident that when we do regather, that our church family is going to be safe and our community is going to be safe as well. So just to give you a little update there. Uh, again, this weekend, uh, hope you'll join us online. We're going to carry, our, carry on our series, Eyewitness, looking at the connections that different people have with Jesus and what they experience through that. But don't forget, there's something from our family life ministry as well. Our student leaders are doing a great job with connecting with our students. So there's lots going on. There's one place you need to go to for all of that, and that's copperhills.org. That's our website, you'll find all the information there. One of the other things you'll find on our website, something we've been talking about these last weeks, is our response to the COVID-19 and try to help our community. It's our community care initiative, tremendous outpouring from people who wanna help. Thank you so much for that. Still trying to gather a sense of the needs that are in our community and that's where you come in. We have this idea here of take notice and take interest. And that's the people we work alongside or did work with or neighbors, family members, if there are needs around you, would you pause for just a bit and look, take notice, and let us know how we might be able to help those needs and meet those needs of people in our community. So again, you can go to our website. There's some COVID-19 buttons you can check on for that. Uh, just in closing, just to honor our healthcare workers, our frontline workers, we're gonna turn our plaza lights blue, uh, just as a, a symbol in the, in the night that there is light and we're so grateful for uh, our healthcare workers that are doing that. So, uh, remind you, we pray for you, we love you, we miss you. We will be back together again before too long and we look forward to that. Stay connected with us through social media. Love to hear from you. Look forward to uh, being with you this next weekend. I hope you have a great week. Remember once again, God is our refuge and our strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. Have a great week, everyone.